Scottish people on Twitter. If you did not know this, it is one of the wildest places on the whole internet. And if you do not believe me, I'm going to attempt to prove it to you right here in today's episode of the vlog. That's coming right up after this. Hello everybody, how are you doing? Welcome to today's episode of the vlog. It's great to have you here. Thank you very much for joining in. My name is Sean and I'm a YouTuber from Edinburgh in Scotland. Right here on my channel, I talk all about my life in general, my travels as a Scottish person out there in the world, Scottish culture and funny stuff that I think you might be interested in. And in today's episode, I'm talking about one particular Scottish quirk that has kind of taken the internet by storm over the last few years. If you don't know what it is, if you've never seen this before, Scottish people on Twitter, it is hilarious, all right? It is the same equivalent of what you guys showed me of Florida Man. So we basically have our very own version of Florida Man, right? This kind of Scottish meme. And it's basically, we say stuff using our own dialect on Twitter that goes viral regularly because we're just a funny bunch, right? Our tweets have often mesmerized people from around the world, have confused people in equal measure, and have mostly made people howl with laughter. And Twitter, not wanting to miss a trick at the Edinburgh Fringe Festival, decided to put on a bit of a show. When I say a show, what I mean is they opened up a pop-up shop and really put on display the very best of Scottish people on Twitter for people to come and view as a, like an exhibition an exhibition or like a shrine to Scottish people on Twitter because it really has been such a thing on the platform. There are Reddit forums and everything set up in dedication to Scottish people on Twitter, right? So I went along to this exhibition that they set up in Edinburgh for a wee look -see. And I think like I would be doing a disservice to you guys if I didn't actually do that and review it for you. So that is what today's episode is all about. It's great to have you all here. Thank you so much for joining in. And if you are new, please don't forget to hit the red subscribe button down below. And everybody watching, please hit the notification bell. Then YouTube might even bother its arse to show you some of my videos from now on. All right, let's go. I'm going to take you there back in time to the Scottish People on Twitter exhibition here in Edinburgh. All right, so we are outside the Visit Scotland Twitter, Visit Scottish Twitter parody shop that Twitter have set up right here in Edinburgh for the Fringe. Basically as a shrine, as a monument to Scottish people on Twitter. Like I've said in various videos, it is the best place on the web um, for some hilarities. And they have paid homage to that in the form of an actual physical shop. Let's go check it out, I'm curious. Got my free souvenir, the coaster with that absolutely hilarious tweet about the guy with his grandma's dog. Honestly, when I saw that the first time, I cried laughing for minutes, solid minutes, so glad I got that, that's pretty cool. They're giving away all kinds of gifts there. They're giving away canvas bags, coasters, stickers, postcards, loads of different things. It's pretty cool, great idea by Twitter, I love that. Celebrating Scottish humour right here at the Edinburgh Festival. That was the Scottish people on Twitter pop-up exhibition in Edinburgh. And what I'm actually going to do in this video, right, is I'm going to review some of the top tweets that they pulled out and put on show there and put on merchandise, all right? Let's discuss them, let's really get into them a bit deeper. But before I do that, I want to mention, first of all, I actually have a number of Scottish quirky, sometimes funny merch on my website, including t-shirts like this one here, what you're looking at, it's got a stag on it. It's a bit funny and quirky, I took that photo myself. You can buy that and a number of other Scottish themed merch items on my store. The links for that are all down below in the description and the top line of the comments. All right, so let's go through some of the tweets that were on display 
at the Scottish People on Twitter exhibition here in Edinburgh. So this tweet here doesn't really involve Scottish language as such because a lot of the tweets that we think are really funny that go viral on Twitter are usually involve some kind of Scottish slangs, dialects that people really don't understand unless you're Scottish. But this one is just an observation. A giant brick dinosaur has stuck its head into Edinburgh Castle. I'm not sure if anybody else has ever noticed that before, but like when you put it like that, it really looks like that. I mean, that's just such a great observation. Edinburgh Castle, a prehistoric monument perhaps? Probably not. I don't think they were thinking about Jurassic Park when they set that up. This tweet, I remember this tweet. I remember laughing at this tweet. All right, it went viral. And I'm not gonna say the swear words on here because you know what, YouTube will literally, you know, let's not go there. I will bleep them out. You don't know what fun is until you've witnessed a drunk on the Edinburgh to Glasgow train screaming, I hate hedgehogs, while angrily circling a hairbrush that me dropped on the floor. So I think this one here is really painting a picture of a situation that you would see potentially only ever in Scotland, right? And that's why some of these are really, really funny as well, because it's a situation that you can identify with as a Scottish person who's lived in Scotland. You've seen things like this happening, you know? A hairbrush on the ground and a drunk person thinking it's a hedgehog and wanting to start a fight with it. Another observation, Fred Flintstone has been driving through Killy. Killy, by the way, is Kilmarnock. And if any of you guys grew up watching the Flintstones, you'll know exactly what this is all about. I love this. Another classic observation on Scottish Twitter. And you know, this next one is a real kind of homage to our comedy spirit in Scotland. A couple arguing on the train cause the guy said he's never allowed to go to the pub or anything. And she's just shouted, oh, up. You're out mayor than the bins. You don't understand that, right? The bins. We put them out in Scotland. We have to put the bins out, right? So that the bin men can come and collect them and take them away. The trash, right? We're a land of poets and storytellers. And you know what? I think Twitter is just the short form version of that. There's a couple of tweets here that were very geographic focused. And I didn't even know this was a thing. Dundee and seagulls. I mean, look at this. Nothing scares me more than Dundee seagulls. Dundee seagulls are brutal. Chicken mail ripped right out of my hands. On edge. Still in there making fun of people who wear camouflage as like a modern trend these days, all right? Everybody can see you, all right? When I'm out and I see someone wearing a camo jacket, don't say it, etc. there's a floating head. Brexit referendum. I don't know if you guys know this, but the majority of people in Scotland here are against Brexit. We did not vote for Brexit. So we quite often make fun of it. And this is what I would say is a pretty typical take of what Scottish people think about Brexit. What if Scotland just refuses to leave the EU? Like we all just say no and tell England what are you gonna do? Phone the police. Police, by the way, the police. You know what I mean? We're just we're just not into this Brexit luck. This one, I remember laughing at this tweet for like quite a long time. All right. You ever want to just wrap yourself up in a tin foil, nice and cozy, and then just get right into the microwave and blow yourself up to? I've seen it so many times. I've laughed like tears at this tweet when it first came out. I've got nothing left other than just to, to pass that on to you guys for your, your your amusement, really. Scottish independence referendum, another political one. Sex is intimate and sacred. Your body is a temple and you shouldn't share it with anyone who doesn't want Scottish independence. I don't know if any of you guys have seen the phenomenon that is Lewis Capaldi, the Scottish singer. I heard his music on the radio for months and months and months, but I didn't really know who he was or what he did, right? And then I seen him on social media and I thought, wow, I think I prefer Lewis Capaldi as a comedian on Twitter and Instagram and someone who shares content than as a singer. I'll be honest with you, right? Good singer, great singer, great voice and all that. Not my style of music, right enough, right? But then I saw him online and I thought, this guy is funny as anything. Obviously others agree. I'm fine with Lewis Capaldi being Scottish, four years younger than me and a massive successful singer because that was never on the cards. But him having Twitter part two is too far. Get out of my lane, you Thing is with Scotland, right? I don't know if you know this, but we swear quite a lot. Not just at angry situations, but even when we're speaking to friends and family, we'll swear quite a lot and say quite harsh words and it doesn't always mean anything. So this guy isn't really insulting Lewis Capaldi. He's been pretty, pretty friendly. Can you believe how expensive being alive is? You and I both, Nicole. This tweet, right? This, this tweet ended me. And like you would have seen from the exhibition there, the Twitter, the Scottish people on Twitter exhibition, I actually got the piece of merchandise. Why does my Nana's dog look like he's trying to see what he wants to order from the chippy? If you don't know what a chippy is, by the way, it is the fish and chip shop, to put it in a shorter way. We call it the chippy, right? And when you see the picture of this dog, it, it just it's just perfect in every single way. Th this tweet, I absolutely I laughed so much at this. Like, you know when an animal makes an expression that's quite human-like, 
That is exactly the expression when we're looking up to order what we want for the chippy. This one as well, a classic, right? Last in Gibraltar took my photo while I was off guard, stuck it to a plate and made me buy it for six pounds, six euros rather. Nathan, that is what you call being hard, sunshine. You got hard there. Loved that. That was another one that just made me cry laughing when I saw it the first time. Here's a cheese joke for you. Scotland, people here eat cheese. Was walking home and someone threw a block of cheese out their window and hit me on the head. I turned and shouted, that wasn't very mature, was it? You know what, that's a dad joke, all right? That's one of the ones, if you go to your old granddad's working men's club, that's the type of joke you're likely to hear all night long. Really, really funny and works well as a tweet, obviously. So that's a wee selection from Scottish people on Twitter that Twitter kindly made into an exhibition. I thought it was genius. I really loved that they did that. And I wanted to go through it with you because some of you guys will be new to my channel and you won't know that I've actually done a whole series on this topic, Scottish people on Twitter. I will put the link to that series down below. You need to go and check some of those videos out because they are hilarious. Scottish people on Twitter is hilarious. And like I said, I would compare it to something like Florida man in America. And now that you are well informed about Scottish people on Twitter, you can go out there and have your own fun. Like search Scottish people on Twitter around the web and you're bound to find some gems. Share them with me. But that's all we've got time for today. Thank you so much everybody for watching. It's been great to speak to you as always. And until the next adventure, I hope you have a good night, morning, evening, afternoon, or whatever time of day it is, wherever you are in the world. Take care. Mm -hmm.